What's going on guys? Pretty excited this morning. This is my first trip back out, anything outdoorsy related since I had my knee surgery two weeks ago. So pretty fired up about that. But doing a little something different with this video. I got a phone call a couple weeks ago, actually right before surgery, from a, another local farmer uh, asking if I would help with some beaver on one of his farm fields that's kind of overtaking this lake. So this trip right here is my first trip in and wanted to bring you guys along just to see what this looks like. Kind of get an idea of the setup on the lake and want to do like a video series or I guess you would say a playlist to see how many beaver are in this lake and see how many that I end up killing out of this lake. So today's just kind of a scouting type mission. Kind of get an idea of the lay of the land and then we'll get a game plan together and then we'll build off of this video see how we can help this farmer and see how many we end up killing out of here so let's get down here we'll take a look and see what kind of damage they're doing see one tree down there chewed up pretty good oh man jeez check this out I don't know if you can see it from here let me zoom in look at that one just waiting on the wind to get it that's what they do guys they get them just to where they start getting weak let them be and let the wind do the rest this one they're just getting food off of and then they'll start chewing into that one too Look at that guys, crazy. Crazy, crazy. right here is going to be an awesome spot to set up. Show this to you guys. We'll come out here on this knoll. Little pasture mound right there. I can come here. I can shoot the whole thing pretty much. Right there is where we walked in. I can shoot pretty much back to here. I have a feeling that's where most of the activity is back there. So I might want to set up over here. First time in, there's another big one down. Very fresh right there. Knocked down. 
butchered that one quite a while ago. The wind finally got that one. There's some fresh stuff over here. Not as much activity as I thought there would be right over here. Let's go check out the dam. Hang tight. Alright, we're heading over here, getting closer to the dam. Take a look, see what that looks like. Oh man, check this out. Home sweet home. You guys see that? That is the lodge. Welcome to the Beaver Hotel. Check that out. got it surrounding this whole tree right here. I've been hunting a lot of beaver in the last three years and I haven't seen it surrounding a tree like that. You can see these cuts. Sections of trees that they carry up here. Take some of these, strip the bark off of it, eat it, and then they just throw it up here, keep stacking, bringing in mud. All this is mud, branches, leaves. Unreal. That's a pretty good size one there. They're in there sleeping right now. Let's continue on. We're pretty close to the dam. Lodge right here. And the dam's right over here. All along there. Make our way over there and check it out. All right, here's the dam. So you can see here how they're raising this up, the natural level of the lake. I've seen it way worse than this, but I think we're kind of just getting started here. So it'll get out of hand in a hurry, and that's why he wants me here to get rid of these. See right here is the overflow. This is the pipe right here. And they've got it stopped up to where right there's the entrance to the pipe. No water can even get to it. So they've got total control right now. And what I'll do some night when I come out and hunt is I might come over first, break this open, get some water flow going, get some noise, make them real mad, and then set up and hunt right off of that little knoll over there. Or I might just come in the first night and just start hunting, see what the activity is, see where they're hanging out. But we'll see. For all you new viewers, make sure and follow, subscribe. We'll be putting the we'll be putting a playlist together on this lake here. Seeing how many we can get out of here. 
you can see here, they don't have to build this part up yet because it's still higher than what this was. You can see this is all their work right here. But soon, what they'll do is they'll just keep building this up. Water will start coming over this and then they'll have to start building this up. We'll just keep building this lake up higher and higher, getting more vegetation underwater. You can see here they start building up again. bit more chewing way back in there probably a lot more that we can't see from here but we'll get in here and start putting the hurtings on them you can see here it's probably where a natural water line used to be With these briars I mean some of those briars are still kind of green so they've definitely raised this quite a bit here recently and it will only get worse and worse. Yeah, it's a pretty distinct line down through there with that briar, briar line. And then they've backed it up another four to five feet so far. More in spots. So that's it for today, guys. You guys make sure and subscribe and follow along gonna start working on this video series here about this lake seeing how many we can get out of here and then it's time to start getting back into coyote hunting too so on the road to recovery appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned for the next one happy hunting be safe see you guys bye